Kung Pao Panda. Kung ah, Pao. No. No, my favorite dish. <laughs> ah, Corey, you not train enough like we to go see Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, you didn't even see Kung Fu Panda. What the hell? In fact, just shut up. Carlisle, you go. All right. Well, Jack Black's Kung Fu is strong, for he is the voice of Panda. And Panda is not a very good uh, martial artist, but he wants to be. And he trains, and he trains, and becomes the Kung Fu Panda. Ah, oh, and I see you have mastered the art of the Asian stereotype. Ah, I am truly a subtitled Kung Fu master. Jack Black is so perfect for this, though. If he was, I mean, like if like some sort of weird animated Cool World virus swept across the United States and we all turned into animated characters, he would be a big fat panda. It's true. It's it's natural. Man, you had to reach all the way to China for that analogy right there. <laughs> How about you sprinkling with some Chinese herbs and hit a gong? Well, it's the only movie where people get forced to get turned into animated characters I can think of, so... Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Anyway, uh, this this movie is is basically like if you took one of those Saturday morning kung fu theater movies, but you just made it all CG animals, um, with Jack Black as you know the panda who wants to be a martial artist like the Furious Five, who just just as well be the Five Deadly Venoms, but he's not ready. Except the old master says, "No, he is the one." The Furious Five, isn't that a rap group? Yeah, well, yeah, it was. I mean, there's, there's no, you know, there's no Grandmaster Flash. Here. Okay, <laughs> Grandmaster Flash and the Furious and Five. The I was like, Fabulous Wait a minute. Five. Oh no, not, that's a gay group, isn't it? The Fabulous Five. <laughs> yeah, they were the backup singers for Dream Girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? This is one of the best movies I've seen all year. This thing is freaking awesome. I loved. it. Every minute of this movie, uh, you, you mentioned Saturday morning Kung Fu theater. This is a Shaw Brothers movie. This is a this is taking the very best moments of all the best Shaw Brothers films, putting them in an animated film, and then taking the very best of animated movies and merging that together into something that I hold on par with The Incredibles. I think this is that good of an animated. Okay, film. you're telling me a panda that does karate is as good as the Incredibles. I am telling you that a panda that does karate is as good as the freaking Incredibles because it really is that good. This is, this is what they did with the Incredibles and taking, let's make a perfect superhero movie and have it be an animated CG movie. They did that here. They made a perfect martial arts training movie as an animated animal film. And it is freaking fantastic. These guys d did really do their homework and it really is great. I'm not going to go so far as to say the, as good as the Incredibles. Cause I need to see it a few more times, but it's probably in my top five animated films. It's that good. Now, that being said, I've seen all the movies that these guys did. I'm a bit of a geek for this. You're stuff. talking about the martial arts movies. The martial arts films. And to be honest, it's not really so much that they've taken from the Shaw Brothers films. They're actually taking more from the late, late eighties and nineties films, which in and of themselves took from the Shaw Brothers, but just the style, the cinematography, the sense as you're watching people battle that you're really watching people battle. It really comes across and it's exciting to watch. And yet, because it's a cartoon, they managed to make it really, really funny too. Damn, what, boy, what, he is like serious with this too. This, he, this panda must have been a kick-ass panda, boy. You're like gesticulating all over the place. The, the, <laughs> his, his science is too deep, but but I I will echo the fact. But as good as the Incredibles, I don't know. But when you watch this movie, you can tell that a real martial art, a real martial artist, somebody from the Chinese opera, did the choreography yeah. on this and all the fight sequences. Because they're like, there's a point you're going like, yeah, CG, and you're like, damn, that's really good. Yeah. And very, very creative, just constantly. I mean, even this parts without martial arts, the camera's just moving around like crazy. There's always something interesting happening. Great voice actors all the way through. Now, you're hung up on this whole notion of, well, but it's a panda. How can a panda movie be cool? Because it is. It just is one of those films that transcends what it is. It does not – it is not in the same league with all these other talking animal films that we, we, we've we seen. This is – this is I put this above over the hedge. This is that kind of film that you walk in going, how good can a talking animal film be? And they go and kick your ass and make a perfect talking animal film. Well, yeah, because these animals just don't talk. They beat the shit out of you too, I'm assuming. Exactly. <laughs> well, it makes perfect sense. I can't believe it took them this long because, you know, martial arts films everyone's always fighting tiger style or crane style or snake style and they just take that to its logical and extension it's so, so crane actually cranes and tigers and snakes and stuff. okay yeah I, I, okay. yeah because you were talking like i mean it looks like a funny film to me you're like you're talking like man i've never seen a panda do karate this movie's ridiculous no i, I know it's a cartoon and it looks like it's a lot of fun 
No, it, I, hey, a real panda will whip your ass if you get too close to yeah, it. It oh, ain't kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's like I, bite your ass off. <laughs> yeah, that's, they, they, they box. They, they, didn't they make a movie about that where some, you know, fangala guy was like wandering around in the woods and then a big panda bear came and ate his brain? Panda no, man? No, they did have Fagula. that. I know. But is, that, is that a kung fu style and stuff right there? Fagula style. I'll claw your eyes out with my fagula. That's him, y'all. So when a bunch of karate gay people come and whip your ass, that's on you. Your that's kung fu a, is not strong, Corey Coleman. That's a movie that I would like to see, actually. Well, Carlo get, get his ass whipped by a bunch of gay people who know karate. Yeah, hey, foo. You got the feathered boa of death, you know? <laughs> Carlisle and the five fingers of San Francisco. See, there you go. With, that's the fabulous five right there. That come with his ass. Fabulous five fingers. Okay, now see, what, what I want to know is, oh, and by the way, there is a, a, a this film that was on, uh, and this is kind of off topic here, but I'll be through it real quick. There was, um, there was a, a, a the clip of this panda going after this guy's jacket. <laughs> like, this guy got jacked for his jacket by a panda, and they showed it on two things. They showed it on when animal attacks and they're like watch us this vicious panda steals this man jackets and tries to bite his head off and then later they showed it on America's Funniest Home Videos oh, <laughs> yeah, this, uh, boy this panda must be cold he really wants that jacket well you know if you add the Benny Hill music to anything and it becomes funny <laughs> oh yeah, da, 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 oh, yeah. Da, 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 you just add like da, 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 a little da, da, da. a slide a, whistle changes everything <laughs> Oh, yeah, and that whole... Which is funny that's even out there, because that Panda Anti-Defamation League is huge, dude. I mean, they got stuffed animals out all the time. Now they got Jack Black brainwashed. You know, okay, the well, pandas you... will fuck your shit I'm so- up. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on your line. Go say it. The pandas will fuck your shit up. Um, <laughs> so what's the plot of this movie, then? Okay, perfect. You don't believe in a panda doing martial arts, and neither does anybody else. Yeah. I mean, he's basically, you know, he's the son of a noodle salesman who wants him to sell noodles for the rest of his life. That's stupid. That's ridiculous. I've never seen a panda sell noodles. Well, sure. You've seen the, the chain. Yeah, Panda oh. Express. Oh. <laughs> Come on. My mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've but- been to a food court in your life before. <laughs> You've had really incredibly crappy Chinese food. There you go. <laughs> but, but, but he wants to be, his, his dream is to be a martial artist and be a member of the Furious Five. Um, so he goes to see when they're going to announce who is the new dragon warrior. He can't wait. Everybody's going to see it. He can't get in. Somehow he gets mixed up with some fireworks and shoots in there. And the old master who must choose says, ah, he has been delivered from the sky. And everybody's like, no, no, wait, old man. You, you don't understand. This was an accident. No, 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 no. He's been, he's the chosen one. There you are must train no him. accidents. And they're like, God damn it. And- and then the rest of the film is a, a big training sequence in which the the panda has to try to learn kung fu while the master is trying to figure out how to teach a panda bear kung fu. Meanwhile, the evil villain voiced by Ian McShane is seriously locked up but is prophesied to escape by the old master and sure enough, of course, escapes. The dragon master has to be ready for this dude, this big badass who's on his way to come and claim the dragon scroll for himself. So there is dramatic tension. Oh, <laughs> oh, and not to mention that the Furious Five hate the panda. Yes. Oh, that's just racist. I mean, it, it, well, no, it's <laughs> it's not racist. It's the fact that one of them were supposed to be chosen as the Dragon Master, and instead, this buffoon ends up getting chosen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no, it's the the thing is, is it's one of those. It's a very classic story. You've seen these conventions done dozens of times mm-hmm. in a number of movies. They were just all brought together in a perfect mix all at once, and it's it just it so delivers on everything it promises. It's two, so good. Two questions here. Uh, Jack Black and Ian McShane, any other voices in this? Oh, yeah. Angelina yeah. Jolie, Dustin Hoffman, Jackie Chan, David Cross, David Cross. Seth, uh, Seth Rogen. Yeah, Seth Rogen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> the other thing. Okay. This is a karate film. How is the kung fu in this movie? Awesome. Yeah, it's like I said, it's that great mix of these guys who've actually watched all these terrific martial arts films, all this terrific choreography, and doing stuff that you couldn't do in there because it's animated, but that makes sense in the film. It's it's awesome to watch and fun and funny at the same time. Do we get to see like the panda do a pandality on anybody, like rip somebody's head off while their well, spine is dangling out the bottom? This, this ain't Mortal Kombat, yeah. <laughs> but it is. It is panda style. What, yeah. What's interesting is everyone fights in their own animalistic way and ultimately when panda discovers that he is the dragon warrior when he fights he fights like a panda would fight and it's it's not he doesn't 
fight like everyone else. He fights in his own way. Every animal fights differently, and it's really fascinating. If it has anything in common with anything, it would be drunken style, just because it's sort of an accidental form of fighting. He just kind of falls into the moves. Yeah, more like buffoon style, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, now you're talking my language. That's how I fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Much the way you do, except a, a lot less hitting to the face. I was going to say, a lot less screaming and hiding under the couch. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot, there's a lot less running involved the other direction. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, like but like I, I keep saying, Corey, your kung fu is weak. <laughs> I, I, honestly, you know, the, the movie probably it reminded me the most of was Surf's Up. And, like, mm. it's kind of a small movie that really goes way over – that extra mile of what it has to do. And it's absolutely gorgeous in the same way that Surf's Up was, where, you know, you had those beautiful tropic scenes. Here you have the ancient China, and it's just gorgeous. And every the, part of it. And the Chinese landscapes and everything. Yeah. And the yeah. Chinese architecture. Honestly, it reminded me more than anything of Kung Fu Hustle, really. It's just got that same feeling of the mixture of wacky extreme with some actually pretty impressive martial arts stuff. And comedy. yet, even with talking animals, it was still less over the top than Kung Fu Hustle. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, so I guess uh, full price all Hated around. It. <laughs> <laughs> We're lying. You've got to throw away this entire audio review. It was terrible. <laughs> no, so I uh, really full, full full price all the way. Yeah, no, absolutely full price. This is great stuff. I I you know what? I'm really torn here. It's it's a very very high full price. It's not quite better than sex, but this really is. Uh, it, it's tied for the best film that I've seen all year. I love the hell out of this thing. I don't know, man. Having sex with a panda that knows Kung Fu is pretty awesome. I think that'll probably be pretty I don't know if thing. it's awesome, but I guess once it started to have sex with you, you wouldn't have much choice. Look, I, look, I <laughs> have watched... Especially if it knew Kung Fu. I have watched enough news and uh, Discovery Channel stories to know that pandas don't have sex enough to begin with. So <laughs> That's I, true. I think, so when one of them does get around to raping you, you better just lie there and smile. <laughs> Yeah, because that, that's a panda who ain't had none in a long time. Oh, that's true. I, I guess Peter would be there saying, like, hey, sit down and take it. We need this. <laughs> you sure got a pretty pooch. All right, all right. I, I stopped this audio at Panda Rape.